Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with scene items in Dramatify. There are four ways you can add and manage scene items. In the breakdown, in the scene items section and finally on the individual pages for characters and sets. Usually you start adding scene items in the breakdown. You reach the breakdown by going to Scenes in the right hand menu and then clicking on Breakdown in the toolbar. To add a new scene item, just click the link with that name. In the pop-up, name the scene item, select what it's going to be attached to and the department responsible for it. You can add anything as a scene item, from obvious items like props, wardrobe and furniture, to crowd control, lights and specific camera equipment. You can add scene items to a set, to a character and to the scene itself. Items added to a set are items that don't change between scenes if that set is used again, such as furniture. Any set items will be automatically added to the breakdown whenever you use that set again. Items that are only used in one or a few scenes are added to the particular scene or scenes they are needed in and not to the set. Items that belong to a character are added to that character and can be persistent or the more common non-persistent version. A persistent item is something that should always accompany a character like glasses, a wheelchair or special effects makeup. A persistent item is added automatically to the breakdown whenever that character is added to a scene. To make a scene item belonging to a character persistent, check the box at persistent prop slash attribute and the item will be automatically added to the breakdown whenever you add the character. You also decide which department a scene item belongs to. Later this makes it easy for the departments to see what they are responsible for handling. To add a scene item that you already added to another scene, just write the first few letters of the scene item name and you will get a list of suggestions. Click the right one to add to the scene. Now you might have forgotten what scene items you have added or want to edit them in some way. Click on scene items in the toolbar and get a list of all the items you have added. If you want to have the scene items list handy while you work in the breakdown, just open it in a new browser tab so you have the breakdown open in one tab and the scene item list in another. You can view the scene item list alphabetically and then also filter on scene, set, character and department and any combination of those. That means that you can for instance view everything your department is responsible for in a set or in a scene. You can also group scene items, meaning that you see all available scene items grouped on set, character and department in one long list, as well as view all the scene items for single scenes. In scene items you can also add and edit items outside of the breakdown, from correcting spelling errors and changing scene numbers to changing who an item belongs to. This also allows departments to add their own required items. Scene items can also have options added, if you for instance need to try out different selected items to find the one that fits best. To delete a scene item, just move the cursor in front of the item until you see a box appear. Check the box and click delete. Should you want to bulk delete scene items, check select all. To stop any individual items from being removed, just click on the items checkbox to deselect it. For sets, the set construction and props team, along with any admin, can add and edit scene items and scene item options on each set page, getting a clear overview of each set. Just click sets in the right hand menu and then select the set you want to work with. Here, admins and team members belonging to the set construction and props departments can add and edit scene items as well as add scene item options outside of the breakdown. To add a new scene item, just click add item. To add an option to a scene item, just click on the edit menu and select add item option. To change a scene item or an option, select edit item instead. Since Dramatify works great on mobile, set designers and props can add scene items and options on the go in their smartphones. 
If you want some extra control, you can add costs and any return dates to scene items to keep everything in one place. Also note that you can easily filter scene items on departments in the drop-down above the list to learn exactly what your department is responsible for. The character pages work pretty much the same as the set pages. These can be accessed by admins as well as any members of the props, wardrobe and hair and makeup departments. One big difference compared to sets is that characters can have both persistent and non-persistent scene items as I mentioned above. The persistent items don't have a scene number, but are in instead indicated by the text always. Above the scene list item to the left, you can also filter scene items on persistent and non-persistent items if you want. Below the scene item list, you also find the scene items for each scene for this character. Finally, admins can access and print a breakdown report that includes scene items. Go to Scenes in the right-hand menu and click on Report in the toolbar. Note that the report page can take a little longer to appear than normally because it's live compiling all the information you have added to your production. The breakdown report can be viewed as a whole or filtered on episode, scenes, locations, sets, script days and production days or any combination thereof. That's all for now. Thank you for dramatifying your production.